Hi everybody, it's Gemma, welcome back to Pampered Wolf. Today I'm going to show you how I tint my lashes in my own home really safely, really simply and really quickly. It's so straightforward, it's really, really easy to do. So if you can't get to your beauty therapist or your esthetician at the moment, then this may be something that you might want to consider. I don't think that this is really dangerous to do. Obviously, you have to make sure that you are very, very careful with the products that you're going to be putting on your eyelashes and you need to make sure that you have read the instruction manual from back to front and you are following all the directions. You really don't wanna mess around with the eye area, so you do need to be very, very careful. But this is how I do it and these are the products that I use. Let me show you the products that I'm going to use today. This is the Eyelaw Lash Tint Kit. I think I got this on Amazon. I will link it in the description box below. There will be something in your area or in the stores around you that you will be able to use that's similar to this if you can't get this one. But this is the best one that I've been able to buy which isn't specific to professional salon stores. So um, this is the one that I use at home. Really, really good. And this one's only just run out on my lashes and I did it way over six weeks ago. So I highly recommend this one, definitely. So in the kit, you get an activating gel, you get a developer gel, and you also get a little spoolie, which will allow you to apply these products to the lashes without getting it all over your face, which I think is really, really useful. You do get a lot of product in these tubes. This will last you up to eight applications, obviously depending on how much you squeeze out and how much you waste. This can last you an incredibly long time and it's actually quite affordable, so really, really good value for money. So first things first, get everything out of the way, tie your hair up so you're not gonna dye any of your hair or any of your hair is gonna get caught in your eyelashes. That will be a bad thing. So get everything out of the way first. The next part of prepping that you need to do once you've made sure that your lashes are completely dry and clean of residue is prep the area around the eye. So prep your eyelids and the under eye to make sure that none of the dye that you're going to apply to your lashes will actually get on those areas and dye those areas as well. You don't want that. So I'm gonna take a disposable cotton round. I'm just gonna cut it in half, just so it fits my eye a little bit better. So the next job is to prep the eyelid area. Now I'm not gonna apply a cotton round to that area. I'm just gonna take some petroleum jelly. Um, this is my Vaseline. Dip a little bit of a Q-tip in there and get some on the Q-tip. Just fold my lashes down. You need to make sure that you're not getting any of this on your lashes because that will stop the dye from taking effect. And I'm gonna go all the way up to the socket. You can never be too careful. This isn't damaging at all. It might feel a little greasy and a little heavy on your eyelids, but you can remove that straight after. And then I'm gonna do the same on the lower lash line. So that's when I apply my little shaped cotton rounds underneath. And then place that in place and just give it a little bit of pressure to make sure that is fully stuck down. So in a salon situation, you would obviously have both eyes done at the same time. At home, you need to be doing this one eye at a time. So much easier. You need to be able to see 100% out of at least one eye. It's very useful. So I'm just gonna do this on one eye and then I'll do the other eye off camera. So once everything is prepped, you are going to go to your activating gel first. And with this pack, I'm not quite sure about all the other packs, but with this pack, they do give you this that all the product comes in and very useful little triangles up here that you can put the product on so you're not having to get any other equipment out, any plates or anything like that that can become damaged. So I always use this that actually comes with the product and I'm gonna squeeze around about a centimeter of the activating gel out into here. So just a little bit of the product. There we go, just this much here. I'm just going to coat that in the product and then shut my eye, hold the cotton pad in place, shut the eye and just 
rub that on my lashes. And because my eyelashes do still have a little bit of a curl to them, I do find it easier in some situations to brush up, just like you're applying a bit of mascara. And then to those bottom lashes as well. Then you're gonna leave that on for a minimum of two minutes and a maximum of eight minutes. And you know, I'm obviously gonna leave it on for the full eight minutes because that's how I roll. I'll see you in eight minutes. Okay, so once the eight minutes is up, I am going to close my eye, hold the cotton round and then get another cotton round, fold that in half and make sure that you've got all of the lashes and you brush it down and remove any of the activator gel from the lashes. Now you may remove some of the petroleum jelly from the top lid whilst you're doing this. Just make sure that you reapply that afterwards. So then I'm gonna take some of the developer gel which is in the brown tube, squeeze out about a centimeter's worth of the product and apply that to the lashes. If you get any of the product on your skin, remove that immediately. I find it really useful to have a little bit of nail varnish remover, so if you do get any on your fingers, you can remove it with the nail varnish remover straight away. And then leave that for a minimum of one minute, a maximum of four minutes. So once that's developed, you can then once again, remove any product with a cotton round. So I like to close my eye and make sure that everything is removed onto the lower cotton round. And once you're happy that all that excess has been removed, you can then remove that lower cotton round and get on with the other eye. So that's it, both lashes are completed. I have already been in the bathroom and cleansed my eye area using my usual oil cleanser, which I feel is the best way of melting down and removing all the petroleum jelly from around the eyes that was protecting the eye area from the dye. Just removes everything to make sure that you don't have that heavy, greasy feeling around the eye area all day. And unlike a, an eyelash perm or an eyelash lift, you can get the lashes wet after you've done this process. It won't hinder the process, it won't get rid of the dye, it won't affect the lashes in any way, shape or form. So you can wash the eye area after you've done this. So I hope you found this video helpful. I hope you've got something out of it. Will this give you the confidence to try and tint your lashes at home? Do you already tint your lashes at home? If you already tint your lashes at home, do list the products that you recommend in the comments section below, because although I am going to link this product in the description box, not everybody is going to be able to get this product. It all depends on where you are in the world. So if you already tint your lashes and you have a really good recommendation, please do let everybody know what it is in the comments section. That will really, really help everybody out. Hope to see you all in the next video. Bye everyone.